Hello guys, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. It's Kami, and uh, today we are going to solve differential equation that are simultaneous differential equations using polymath. So polymath is a numerical software package uh, with which we can solve non-linear equations, linear equations, differential equations, as well as we can access our data. So if you want to get a journal procedure to solve differential equation. You can skip this part and you can move forward. However, I would recommend to have a look on the problem that we are going to solve with Polymath, and uh, I took this problem from Process Dynamics. So let's have a look. Here is our problem, and uh, in this problem, we are going to work out the dynamic response of the tank, and we have a stream that contains 0.015 mole per liter of species A and this stream is being fed to a holding tank. This holding tank initially contains 75 liters of pure water. We have another twist in the tail that uh, the reactant decomposes at a rate where here we, the rate is this. Now we have nomenclature. Another important thing to figure out in this problem is that the volumetric feed rate of this stream that contains this amount of species A is a linear function of time over the period of 10 seconds and after 10 seconds it stays constant. So assuming constant density we are supposed to work out the dynamic response of the tank. Let's move on to the OD section. Here we have our system of differential equations. Uh, this one we got while applying when we applied overall material balance on the tank itself and by applying the material balance for species A we get the this we get this differential equation. This is this is the result of applying material balance for species A. Here we have our initial conditions. So for this equation we have this initial condition and remember that at time t is equal to zero. The initial volume in the tank was 75 liters. However, when we start observing the tank, means that time t is equal to zero, the initial concentration of species A in the tank is zero, means there was no A present at time t is equal to zero. So here we have another explicit equation as well. So have a look on this. And uh, yes. This is a piecewise function because for the first 10 seconds, this volumetric feed flow rate is a linear function of time. However, after 10 seconds, it stays constant and becomes 25. So, this was the problem that we are going to solve on uh, polymath. Now, without further delay, let's move to the polymath. We are in polymath. I'm using version 6.10. Go to this tab program. Click on differential equations. Now we are in the differential equation solver. From here, you can choose the from this drop down menu, you can choose the solution algorithm that you want to use. And remember, when you have all the things that are required to solve the equation, this arrow will be enabled, this button will be enabled and uh, if you want to generate a table as well as graph as well as report you can select these options as well. This is the for me this is the message box at least you can say this and uh, it says that no equation is entered and that's, that's true because we haven't entered anything yet. So. Let us enter our first differential equation. Click on this button. Our first differential equation is dv over dt. Let me quickly write it as this small v is volumetric feed flow rate as depicted in the slides. At time t is equal to 0, we know that the volume in the tank initially was 75. It's useful to have some comments and uh, I'm gonna write
done. We have entered our first differential equation. Let's quickly get the second one here as well. This is uh, D C A, the concentration of species A. Let me quickly have a look on this. So the differential equation for concentration of species A is small v, that's the volumetric feed flow rate divided by volume of the tank. And uh, we have to multiply this with 0.015 minus concentration of species A minus 0.0375 times concentration of CA. At time t is equal to 0, the Concentration of species in the tank for zero. Let me make a comment. No. Let me quickly check this differential equation. So we have entered our two differential equations. Now we have to enter the explicit equation. And the reason to choose this problem is can in addition to demonstrate you the solution of differential equation, uh, we will use a decision statement as well. That is if then as statement because the uh, feed flow rate that is v small v is a function of time for the first 10 seconds and after 10 seconds it stays constant so let us enter our explicit equation click on this button enter new explicit equation we are going to write the explicit equation for volumetric feed flow rate of small v i think i have yes small v and the explicit equation uh, will be if we are going to make distinction here if t is greater than or equals to 0 and and is the boolean operator here t of oh, sorry t is greater than equals to 0 and t is less than equals to 10 if this condition is true then the feed flow rate will be equals to 2.5 times t else if this condition uh, fails to exist we have this v equals to this feed flow rate equals to 25 let me we have we have entered the explicit equation as well comment you can say that Maybe this nomenclature is quite difficult to understand. This V is the overall volume of the tank and this small V is the feed flow rate. I'll, I will give you the nomenclature as well um, as a label in the final video in the video. So now the message box says that initial and final values of the independent differential variable not set. We have to specify the bounds of the independent variable that is time it means the interval that we are interested in so for that go to there and uh, define initial and final values of the independent variable. click on this button and uh, enter the first into the initial value that is zero and uh, then enter the final value let's say that i want to check the behavior of the tank at uh, time equals to 100 seconds it's it's a general guess you can play around with this okay now the message box is that ready for solution so i'm not going to change this 
solution algorithm uh, because it's just for the demonstration purpose and uh, let me click on this I want to generate table graph report all the three things so let's solve this cool so here is the report uh, the best way to visualize the results are graphs so move to the graph so concentration is not visible here I think that's the problem of these axes let me turn off the concentration curve click uh, sorry right click on this plot area click on this curve tab and uh, turn off concentration sorry uh, yeah, concentration of species A and uh, these axes are not very attractive for me at, at least so let me close this formatting title the xy axis uh, yes label format I think uh, this one is good and for y axis that's that is the volume this is good and uh, that's much better so you can have title here like because I'm gonna change the variable so let me type So here, initially the volume was 75 liter, but then it increases, it becomes a linear function of time. That's due to that's due to uh, the feed flow rate. Now let us have uh, the concentration of species A here. Turn off this volume. Click on this concentration of species A. Close. We see that concentration of species A exhibit a maxima and then it starts to decline. So fill approach looks like looks like that it will approach some constant value after so much time, you know, after infinite time. So asymptotic type thing, you know. Uh, let me show you the feed flow rate as well. And uh, for this, turn of this concentration is species A and then click on this small v that is the feed flow rate that's good after 10 seconds we can see that before 10 seconds it increases linearly with time but after 10 seconds it stays constant to the value of 25 that's somewhere above 24 again this uh, axis is not pretty much attractive for me at least so again format x5 axis I don't know why I'm doing this yeah that's better okay so in this way you can solve different sorts of differential equation and uh, uh, you can have you can generate graphs you can even uh, enter some function uh, to plot here as well and uh, then move to the table here we have the table of different values for time concentration of the species a then the volume of the tank and then uh, this feed flow rate so you can see that it increases linearly with time and then it stays constant hopefully you would like this video if you want to recommend me some topics you can uh, certainly do that in the comment section like share and subscribe to my channel and support me Thank you.